Good evening from Breda TV. The club has just announced this year's major fundraising event, which will see us returning to the Whitla Hall on the 12th of December for a glamorous night in the red carpet. Breda TV is here tonight with, to get the inside story on the Oscars from our club chairman, Ian McKegney, and club secretary, Adele T. Ian, firstly, can you tell us a bit about the Oscars? Well, basically the Oscars uh, will be a show whereby club members, members of the local community, uh, will recreate and act in iconic movies, scenes. And tell me, is this going to be filmed in advance or will there be live performances on the night? Well, the, the movie scenes will all be filmed in advance in sp different locations um, but there will, and they will be shown on the night but there will also be live a live musical performance which the actors will take part in. Musical performance, does that mean you have to be able to sing? Well, if you want to sing, I'm sure there'll be plenty of lead parts for singers, but uh, if you can't sing, I'm sure equally there'll be plenty of places to hide. Very good. What sort of people are you looking for? I'm sure how many in total do we need for this? Well, we're looking maybe 50, 60 uh, to take part uh, to volunteer for it, and really to cover the breadth of the club. Uh, age groups, club groups, etc. Everyone really to get a whole club community event. So, are you really saying the previous experience required? No, uh, it's, I mean, basically it's all about fun. Um, people who, um, will take on famous roles, so they work are acting alongside and training alongside friends and club mates, etc. So, it's all, all fun, and there'll be a range of roles from leads to, to extras. So. Uh, they'll be apart from everyone, so previous experience in academia is definitely not required. So if, for example, you played a part in a school musical in the late 60s, early 70s in Port of Ferry, should you consider yourself as one of the volunteers? Absolutely. Very good. Will volunteers have any choice in the roles they play or the movies around the day? Um, well, Malcolm, um, as you know, Kevin Rowe Events did um, Strictly for us last year. We've decided to work with them again. They're a very professional outfit and they've done this before. They've cast the movies before, um, so they're going to do that. There'll be a couple of training sessions um, after which they'll cast the roles and the movie groups will be announced at a big Pepsi lunch night. And again, I take it this year is a fundraiser with the emphasis on the word fun. Well, correct. yep, uh, you were part of it last year, you know what fun it was, it was fantastic. Um, everyone participated in Strictly and um, they had a ball, they um, really enjoyed themselves through the training, the socialising, the practising and then eventually through Green TV. And on the night they got such a buzz, they, um, they got a real thrill from performing in front of the home crowd and the spectacle was second to none. But tell me, why have you chosen to move away from the Strictly from Dallas and Formula? It's proved so popular and successful for us last year. Well, as I say, Strictly was a great, it was a great event, um, but huge fun, but it was also a fantastic fundraiser. Um, but not only that, it created a great, a great bond across the community and across the club. Um, that has continued this year. And when we decided to play with the idea of doing Strictly again, we went out and talked to people. And people had such a great time last year, they almost wanted us to match it and say to us, well, really, we prefer we did something different. So we have decided to raise, rise to that challenge and, as ever, we're out to please the members. Ian, question for yourself here. So back to fundraising. Why does the club need to run another major fundraiser this year? Well, as you know, Malcolm, last year uh, we purchased the hall. Uh, um, our plans are in place now to develop it and that takes money. So uh, last year was a great start with the fund we raised so strictly, but we want uh, we need to raise more money obviously to see the plans through. And uh, obviously uh, also the club is we're a big club and it takes a lot of money to run the club, so we have to keep it tight on our finances and fundraising is for our money function. Yeah, understood. Right. I take it each actor will be given a certain amount of fundraising to do. Can you give some sort of a breakdown on this? Yeah, well each actor basically is committing to raise a base fundraising of £250. They can do that, they'll be given sponsorship forms and plenty of support in fundraising uh, and they can use those sponsorship forms to either raise through single donations or 
uh, right down to five pound donations. Uh, they'll also have the opportunity to sell 15 tickets each to family and friends for the night. Uh, and uh, based on last year's experience, strictly in that, I don't think that will prove too much of a challenge. But there'll be plenty of support for all the, the fundraising. Uh, well, tell me if everyone's going to raise the same money as sponsorship, etc. Then how will the Oscars themselves be awarded? Well, similar to uh, strictly last year, the uh, the winners are, the winning is based on a combination of uh, fundraising pre-event fundraising, votes on the night, and uh, the judging panel will make the decision. But there'll be plenty of opportunities to win with categories for best actor, best actress, supporting actor and actress, uh, extras, etc. So, and of course, what we're all best movie. So everybody will be a winner. Right. And, and Adele, can you go over just the practicalities? Like a volunteer, what, are, what is the commitment of volunteering for here? Well, Malcolm, um, we're hoping it'll be a pretty natural commitment and everyone will enjoy it and think a lot of fun and there'll be a lot of support for people. Um, but there will be eight three hour training sessions and um, they will be on on a Sunday afternoon, same as last year. And then the events will be recorded over two weekends before the big event. Right, very good. Well, listen, uh, out and about in the streets, regularly been asked this last couple of weeks about different people in different roles, rumours are out there. I take it there has been some work done matching people up to things, etc. Could you either confirm or deny some of the ones that, you know, it's just I've been picking them up while going around. Like Anne Costello, she's been mentioned as Scarlett O'Hara, gone to the win. Is this true? Well, uh, I, I couldn't possibly comment, you know. Uh, well, uh, what about Kevin Muldoon, Scrappy, as in Rocky? Um, I think Kevin wouldn't be aggressive enough for that. Right. Uh, Jack Anderson has been sort of rumoured jocks are out of June and the Bay Cup. Mm, yeah, that? yeah, I think that, that's, that's yeah. And Aidan yourself has even had a mention uh, Michael Corleone out of the Godfather. Absolutely not. And Adele, Sandy or Olivia and Newton John out of Greece. Oh, I'd love to do that, Marco. Right. That's a great idea. Will you put that foot forward for a minute? <laughs> well, I'll do that there. Listen, so you've all heard it here live on exclusively on Breathe TV. Tickets will go and release soon for the date of the 12th of December. Put that in your diaries. There's going to be a limited number of tickets after the performers, etc., do their selling, etc. And hope to see you all in the Whitley Hall, Saturday, 12th of December, for Pretty Goes to the Oscars. Good night.